Okay, so Elizabeth and I are headed to our second little thrift store. We've got our Dunkin' Donuts, little energy here, and now we're headed to Goodwill to see what we can find in our Goodwill store. So let's go shop in Goodwill. Okay, y'all, and on this shopping trip, I came straight to the back of the store. I like to do that sometimes, and I saw this chandelier in this box. I got super, super excited because I have been on the hunt for a used chandelier at a thrift store for some time now. I want to put it on my back patio, and I just, I don't know, there was something about this one that just told me, leave it behind. It is not going to work. I don't know. Just looking at it, it really looked corroded and kind of messed up, so I did leave it behind, and then I come around the corner, and I saw bought this little tax little kitchen or whatever this thing is tool caddy thing I'm not sure what this is but I thought my grandkids would love this and I thought about getting it to put it on my pool deck for them to like play with water and stuff in it and act like they're cooking because the little ones sometimes don't like to be in the pool all the time but y'all left that one too because I thought I don't have enough room in my Yukon today to get that thing home but $9.99 was a very good price for that Okay, y'all, can you tell whether or not this is ironstone? Okay, y'all, I came across this set of bowls and I wanted to share them with y'all because I think that they're absolutely beautiful. They are not necessarily my style of decor, but I think that we can all appreciate how beautiful they are. And if they are a homemade piece, I think that we can also appreciate how well someone did on them. I think that these are just precious.
Okay, I was trying to finish up this shopping trip by looking at the books, which was very picked over by the way. And then I spot this guy bringing out one of their carts full of new stuff. And you guys, I always look at the carts when they first bring them out where I live and around where I live. They do not mind at all because I just kind of make small talk with them and say, hey, would you like me to lighten your load a little bit? Maybe take something off your cart so you don't have to put it away. And most of the time they are like, yes, please, please look on this cart and take something. So I don't have to put it on the shelf. Let me know, do you look at the carts when they first come out or do you wait until they put everything on the shelf? You guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed that quick little Goodwill shopping trip. And I'm gonna share with you what I picked up really quick. Y'all know, okay, I'm gonna quit saying y'all know because you might be new and you might not know. I'm sorry, I, it's just a habit. If you don't know, I love cottage home decor, primitive stuff, and I love these pie plates. Um, I love to make my chicken pot pie in these pie plates. This one is a little bit smaller than previous ones that I've purchased, but I also love to display these um, in my home decor in my kitchen, and this one is beautiful. I thought that it would be pretty in the fall to sit out. It could be pretty anytime, but it has the recipe on there, and I just love all of the colors in this. I thought that this was adorable. She only charged me what did she charge me for this? I think she charged me a dollar ninety nine. Yes, it was a dollar ninety nine. She charged me a dollar ninety nine for this because it didn't have a sticker when I was in there shopping. So I asked her, and she said a dollar ninety nine. I was kind of impressed. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say like four or five dollars. But anyway, all right. And the next thing that I picked up was this adorable little basket, you guys. So country and primitive looking. I absolutely love it. If you're new here, I love country farmhouse and I love very primitive things. Um, I'm leaning more towards cottage style. So I'm just loving all of that decor right now. And I think that this will fit in perfectly. Um, I was saying in another video that I have like, well, well, white open shelving in my guest bathroom. And I think that this will look very pretty on there. It'll, that black color is going to kind of pop. And having open shelving in a bathroom is wonderful and beautiful, but you need it to have functional things also, things that are pretty and that you like, but also that functions. And so this is a really functional piece because it's a basket and I can store stuff in it. It was $2.99. So it's the stickers on kind of weird, so I don't know if you can see it. But I love how aged it looked. Like it has, it has like a natural aging look to it like it it doesn't look like it's been painted and tried to make uh, like somebody tried to make it look like that it just looks like it's been naturally aged like that and I really like it and you can tell by the bottom that it was it was made in this color and black baskets are really kind of hard to come by ones that are cute anyway in my opinion are hard to come by so I got that and then the last thing that I got you guys is this adorable little Wexford picture. How sweet is this? This is the perfect size. I'm gonna put this over on my coffee bar to go along with some pieces that a subscriber sent me, Miss Joan. No, Miss Rena. I'm sorry, Miss Rena sent me the Wexford pieces, excuse me. And hers is smaller, so I thought that this would be cute to kind of put either my K-cups in to store over there or just some florals. I just think that it is precious. I passed on a I passed on a Wexford picture at a new thrift store I went to um, a little while back because they wanted $10 for it. So I was super excited when this one was only $2.99. This is why I keep going back to Goodwill because you just never know with Goodwill. Sometimes their prices are ridiculous and I'm going to leave it behind if it is. But then sometimes their prices are pretty good. They're really nice. And I, I really didn't think that $2.99 was too bad for this cute little Wexford piece. It's adorable. There's the bottom. It's just precious. I absolutely love it. So I know I didn't have a very long thrifting trip today or a big haul, but again, um, I'll share with y'all that I only pick up things that I truly love and things that I am going to actually decorate and use in my home. I am not a reseller, so I do not buy just a ton of stuff um, to resell to show you. So what I purchase, I'm either purchasing for myself or I'm gifting to a family member or a friend. So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoy that type of content. And if you do, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Share my videos with people if you don't mind. YouTube loves it when you share my videos and it kind of helps push my videos out. I'm not begging, but if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and share my videos. Anyway, you guys, and give it a thumbs up. We hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and we will see you really soon with a brand new video.